Lichens are interesting for a number of reasons, but something that particularly excites me is the chemical element of the lichen, so the lichen chemistry. Within lichens, there are over 200 described substances, and these are produced by the fungi. And these lichen chemicals have all sorts of application, particularly pharmaceutical application, where some of them have antimicrobial properties, antifungal properties, and antibacterial properties too. This species here, you can see this bright yellow pigment within the lichen and this is a chemical that we call pariotin and this chemical has actually been shown to stop the growth of tumour cells in laboratory conditions. At present, unfortunately, we're not in a position where we can synthesise lichen chemicals on a large enough scale for human testing but this will surely be developed in the future. These chemicals are produced by the fungus and we call them secondary metabolites. These aren't necessarily the chemicals that are used in the primary metabolic function of the lichen. They serve other purposes, for example, stopping slugs and snails from grazing on the lichen or protecting the lichen from the ultraviolet light from the sun. So they're really, really important. Here we have Xanthoria parietina, which is also known as the sunburst lichen. And it gets the name from this beautiful yellow color, which is formed by a pigment. This pigment here is called pariotin and it protects the lichen from the sunshine. So you can see on the upper surface of the twig, that pigment is really, really bright. But as you go underneath the twig onto the more shaded side, it loses this pigment because it doesn't need it to protect it from the sun. Producing these chemicals is very energetically expensive for these lichens, so it distributes it accordingly as to where it needs it. These chemicals come in really handy when we're identifying lichens and what we can do as lichenologists is apply our own chemicals and look for colour changes which aid the identification process. So within this little bottle I have uh, potassium hydroxide made in 10% solution and what we do is we apply it to the chemical and we look really closely for any colour changes. So upon application of the chemical, you can see that it goes a striking red colour. And that's the potassium hydroxide within this bottle reacting with the pariotin in the sunburst lichen. Not only do the substances within the lichen react with the chemicals that we apply, they also respond really positively to ultraviolet light and you get this fantastic biofluorescence um, when you shine ultraviolet light onto these lichens. So here, the sunburst lichen, again the pariotin, is fluorescing under the ultraviolet light and creating this striking neon orange colour. Lichens are certainly full of surprises and they do just continue to absolutely fascinate me. But with lichen chemistry, there is really, in the grand scheme of things, so little that is known about it. We're only really scratching the surface, really. And chemists know way more about lichen chemistry than us lichenologists do. So it's a really exciting and upcoming field of research.